Hi folks, well, managed to get out first time in a month. Bloody rain. <laughs> it's rained and rained. We just had a thunderstorm after I got home, so yay. How oh, we're lucky. Uh, yes, got out, went back down to that secret river spot and uh, put 12 buckets through. I got gold. Um, have a look. Nothing spectacular, but I got some, I got some gold. I'm hoping it's got more potential because it goes deep and it's just. I have to keep digging see what I dare to get there. Um, I'd like to congratulate Daz, <laughs> Mr. Daz P. Well done, mate. He's uh, digging in Wales and uh, he's done all right. He's got some nice pickers. Uh, I've just been following him, watching what he's doing. I'll put a link to his channel at end and or to one of his videos as well, maybe. And uh, well done, mate. I'm made up for you. But anyway, I'll get on with this one. Nice to be nice. Right then guys, it's been about a month since I got out, I've been trying to get out but it's rained every weekend, it's train now and uh, what I'm going to do is put 10 buckets through here, this is where I were with kids last time, we've got a big rock over there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me dam, all my tailings will just drop off into the waterfall, I'm going to have to clear that and I'll put 10 buckets through and see if it's worth actually digging here properly, hopefully. To say weather permitting, I don't like digging when it's coming down too much rain. But you see, everything's greened up now, road's just there, so a bit of bit of privacy almost. But uh, yes, I'll start digging here, do the first two buckets, and see what we've got, and I'll concentrate digging up this way. Might do a few test pans, see how we go. But I think I'll just get some buckets through and see what we get. So, as you can see, it's raining. <laughs> These are my first two buckets. I managed to get that built up. That's what I've just dug out of there. Well, that was some from what I was planning before for the week, but it's just about what I've just pulled out of here for two buckets. So, I'll run that and see what we've got. I'm not expecting a great deal, because this is where I sort of finished off, so I'm sure there'll be some other stuff that's washed down in here due to that rain we had. But it's, uh, it still gets quite deep here. I think I've just about touched bottom. I did take a quick test pan, got two tiny little specks, fly pump, and uh, what pumped off at bottom. But I will continue to pump it, depending on how this rain goes. This might be my first and last buckets. Right then, first two buckets. I'm going to try and raise this water a bit more, but I'm seeing three pieces. They're all tiny. Uh, we might have four there. So, the gold is here. But knew that, just how much. Um, yeah, I need to raise water, so what I'll do is, as I'm doing my buckets, I'll keep building this bank up and just try and raise this up to about that height. Under that fin, just do a little bit more. Can't get a good slope on it because 
as you can see I've built it up but I'll get water to run a bit faster the pattern's good but it's just taking a long time to clear four buckets it's looking all right well all right there's about 10 pieces there's one there Quite a few bits up there, there might be more than the same piece down here so we're doing all right four buckets hopefully there's some nice big pieces like what i pulled out of that waterfall because this is really quite deep now i have it bottom but what i'll do is i'll just clean this area and see what i get i'll probably work bank to bank so we're picking gold up that side this side in the middle did all right there well, uh, but I'm thinking it's got to be more concentrated to the middle because bank sort of comes up here. This is bank. Keep going. That fella would go well with some wild garlic. The size of that. Eating snails. Fly free. So after six, there's a few more in, not a lot more. Um, we'll try that way, try that way. Or even zoom out. I'll clear that and clear that. Or put another, I'll probably just put another four buckets through and then I'll clean it out. But I think it'll be alright here. I pretty much can dig here all summer. It's not far to travel and you just get a little bit of a gold fix. But I'll see what comes out of that side. Put two through from there. Put two through from there. See if I can sort of see if there's more there, more there, or more straight up the middle. Right then, took two from that side, and it's going back up that way. So the deepest point so far is there. I think we've got, I'm assuming it's the deepest point. So that's where gold should be. For most of it, there don't seem to be any more in that. Probably seems to be less. Probably seems to be less, so um we'll move down into the box. I think there might be a nice surprise in the box. Get the final two out from there. Right then, that's not a bad one. Not seen much more though. There's one there, there's a few down here. And I went that way. But I'm sort of digging um clay bed up yet. Yeah. This is clay bed. So I'm thinking now uh, then there's not much on that side which they shouldn't be because of curve I mean law of physics says it shouldn't be on that side but there is gold on that side <laughs> but I think that's how it comes because how it comes across here because I've mentioned it before but this river comes across here and then it comes down at like a 90 it's a wall here that's I'll show you and I'm sure some of gold travels across Ooh, and the other hole If you look how this water comes, it slams into here, you see, and runs down there fast. And as I say, I found gold on that side, but I'm sure it's running sort of middle. It comes over this. There's nothing in here. There's an hole down here, a big hole down there. I cleaned it out, got two little pieces out of it. And some of this is like riffles. This is all clay. See, it's all like riffles. I have cleaned along there. But I'm going to work my way up that way. Leave no gold behind. I might just put two more through. Out of the middle, take a look. And then I'll uh, clean it out. tiny hope there's a surprise in the carpet so guys it's total not very big very very small in fact but there's 
probably about 40 or 50 pieces. Still worth going back and doing some more there. Uh, I did find a 5mm piece that were less than 10 foot from there, so if I keep moving forward, I might pick up some better stuff. But take that out.